ready for another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit to get kids excited about math and science. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. All right, so we've got our ECX Ruckus two wheel drive on the bench today. We're putting in these MIP uh, X duty drive shafts. Uh, these we actually had on our slash two wheel drive monster truck. Uh, we kind of gave up on that truck uh, just because of uh, too many issues in the transmission when running uh, higher power, uh, even after going to a 32 pitch uh, gear conversion, which is thicker than the, the stock 48 pitch gears. Um, so to adapt that uh, drive shaft to the Ruckus, which actually has a shorter drive shaft, we've got to use um, a, a replacement part here. Now, um, MIP does sell these, uh, sell drive shafts that work with the, the Ruckus. Um, they, I, I believe it's the same part number as the ones for the Stampede. So. Uh, to adapt the slash drive shafts to the Ruckus or any ECX two-wheel drive, we will need this. It's the uh, it's part 18103180. Oh, sorry, 18103. And um, so you can see the the length difference here. Here's the the drive shaft for the slash. Here's the one for uh, the ECX Ruckus. So couple things we can do here. Um, first of all, to prep the truck, let me get something to one of our makeshift stands here. Um, if you guys still even, uh, even have one of these, it's like an old DVD or CD-ROM <laughs> disc holder there. Um, we'll get a wrench out and first thing we're going to do is take off the wheel, Let me get a deeper wrench. All right. So I want to get this wheel off. Of course, you want to hold the wheel against. Oh, we've got a spider here on our tire. Been gathering dust this ECX since we broke the plastic drive shafts on it. The, the plastic drive shafts is are are one of the weak points of this truck. Uh, you can check out all of our videos for the ECX Ruckus along with those for our Slash and our other trucks in the video description. Uh, we've included links to our most popular. So we just want to pop out that wheel nut, put it to the side, take off the wheel. We've got oops. ECX wheels um, use this this spacer here or you know this washer plastic washer whatever you want to call it so don't lose that I'll put them off to the side to the other we, we did upgrade to aluminum hexes here um, which are kind of a moot point because the MIP kit does come with an aluminum hex of itself um, you'll see that this one is oblong it's actually keyed and there's also a set screw uh, which is uh, there. So we're going to pop off these stock hexes. Uh, you might need, you can't get these off by hand here. It does take some effort. Just grab some sort of flat surface uh, like a screwdriver or whatever you may have, and just pop that out from behind. Oops, I probably shouldn't have used that. Being a precision instrument at all. <laughs> Caliper. Um, pop off the hex. All right, we won't be using that anymore. Pop off the drive pin. And since our plastic drive shaft broke here, oh, there's the other piece here, at the yoke coming out of the differential, uh, we'll need to take that off as well, um, and you'll need to take off a screw to, you know, basically um, get this uh, this uh, steering knuckle to come down. So uh, I'm just uh, putting, you know, we'll probably take out this screw from the bottom uh, versus uh, we, we ended up going with a screw and nut at the top just uh, so that this upper suspension linkage is really... Uh, tightly secured or securely secured. 
Um, so we'll put the try all the uh, old parts off to the side here. Um, you know, you can even pull out this drive shaft from the back since it's broken. See the bearing come out along with it. That's fine. Uh, so why don't we get all the old parts out first to get that broken yoke out of the way. And you can actually see what we did with the other side here. We actually upgraded to a Traxxas plastic drive shaft of all drive shafts. That's actually stronger than the ECX one. And you'll see a, a metal yoke in there as well. You can, you can do this upgrade. It's kind of a cheaper alternative to the, um, uh, the MIP X duties. Uh, but you know, you, you've got to cobble together a bunch of different parts. So I'm going to get the yoke out by pulling, by unscrewing this drive pin. All right. So I've got the drive pin out. Again, we'll put this with all the old parts and then the drive shaft yoke simply slides off. You can see it broke off one of the ears there. And there we go. We've got the old parts off. Um, we're going to go ahead and piece together the new drive shaft. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that in the next video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.